Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this uh, quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a brush stroke into a sort of very streaky, sort of smudgy like brush design or image. And of course, you could use it with other images as well. I'm using Photoshop, so I'm just going to go over to Photoshop CC and the key thing in this video being uh, the oil paint filter. Right, here's one of the brushes. This is from a Graphic Extras. It's a mouse, mouse design. You can find the sets available on the Graphic Extras website, but of course you can use any uh, different uh, design. But this is a realistic-ish mouse design. And I'm just going to apply the brush stroke. And I'm applying it using the uh, standard brush tool and black. So I've got that design there, and I now can go to Filter, Oil Paint. And I, one of the best filter things about this filter is you can actually just set it to its limits set the stylization to 10, set the cleanliness to 10, set the scale to zilch, set the bristle to zilch, and then the shine also to thing. doesn't matter then with the angular direction, it could be just set to anything. So already you can see the, the image has actually been quite smeared out already, very quick and easy sort of, and you could stop at this point if you wanted actually a sort of smeary design, but I quite like using the oil paint filter a few times to get uh, things. So you can actually just apply it there. And of course you can apply it again. And one trouble with the oil paint filter is actually, you'll probably notice, is that it actually starts to make it go very, very grey actually. Which is a pity. Of course you could do a selection. Doesn't always work as well I think sometimes. So once you've got that, you can actually go then of course to image adjustments and you can use exposure. That's one I quite like. You can change exposure, camera correction, just set that, put that up high, set exposure, and, and there you've got rid of the grey, click OK, and you've actually got a very, very sort of smeared, swirly mouse, which of course can be used as a brush stroke later as well. And of course you can tweak it further, of course there's many other tools you can actually use within here, adjustments, to use black and white, etc., or and one of my favourites, the HDR toning. It's a very good way of doing that. And again, of course, you can go back to the oil paint and you can apply it again. And again, and again. And of course, and also you can actually go from there. You can actually, one another thing that I think is quite nice from this point, you can actually go to poster edge which I think works very well with the uh, oil paint, and you can turn it into a quick woodcut or etching-like design. So, right, I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always add in many new tutorials every couple of uh, days. Thank you much.